as a baseball fan, I'm aware that if you watch baseball, you know who Ronald Acuna Jr. is and you know what he's done for this Braves organization for how young he is. And I know you're I think you're I know you're at least aware of what Ozzie Albies is doing at his young age for the Atlanta Braves. So there's another player in that young core of Atlanta Braves players that you should know very well. And once he starts winning Cy Youngs, you won't forget who he is. Mike Soroka, originally a Calgary native. Uh, has come to the league, and once he started, I don't think he's going to stop for a bit. And I think once it's all said and done, his number will hang in the Raptors along with his name in the Hall of Fame. Uh, how you guys doing? It is Monday, June first, two thousand twenty. In this quarantine, I'm James Sims, and as an Atlanta Braves, as an as someone who's from Atlanta, I'm gonna try to be as unbiased as I possibly can when talking about how good of a pitcher he is. Um, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of background as to who Mike Soroka is. Of course, coming out of high school as a Calgary product, Mike Soroka shot up to becoming one of the Braves' best prospects. He was drafted um, in the first round in 2015, 25th overall. Um, and, of course, they liked him because he, he had an amazing fastball, slide-up, changer, and he has amazing control. Overall, they saw him as a very well-rounded pitcher who doesn't throw incredibly fast, but he's a very smart pitcher, and he knows, and he has amazing control over his pitches. Um, he's an amazing athlete. He stands at six foot five, two hundred and twenty-five pounds. So of course, he's a giant on the mound, and I imagine he, that make that's a, that is very intimidating to pitchers that see him and then that that know how great of a pitcher he is, despite the fact that he doesn't throw a lot of heat. So uh, he was eventually called up in the 2018 season. He started five games, uh, finished with a 2-1 record with a 351 ERA. Uh, in 25 innings pitched, he allowed 30 hits, but he, and, he, and, he, and he only allowed uh, 10 earned runs in that. But he had 21 strikeouts, and what he was able to do was just at least show that he was there. Like, this is what he was doing as a 20-year-old pitcher. He was 20 at the time, and when he started, he was the youngest player on the Braves roster include, or until Ronald Acuna got there. And when Ronald Acuna and uh, Mike Soroka and Ozzie Albies were on the team at the same time, they were the three youngest players in all of baseball to, 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 to be on a roster at the same time. And that's kind of what Soroka was. I mean, he put his face on the map. And even at that point, what I had seen him do to the teams that he played, I thought that he was going to be, I, I think that we were in for an amazing sophomore year or a full rookie year from Mike Soroka where we'd see him actually like put himself up amongst like the all-stars. But I had no idea. I wasn't even ready for what he was going to do in a second season. I mean, in a second season, his age 21 season, 2019, uh, he would start 29 games. He would finish with a 13-4 and four record. And in 174 innings, he would allow 153 hits, 52 earned runs, and he struck out 142. So he had less strikeouts than innings pitched, and he had less strikeouts than hits. But he also allowed the least amount of home runs in the in, in, in the national leagues and he was able to keep a bad or he was able to keep an era of 268 for the entire season at 21 years old i think because he was able to keep a sub three era in the major leagues in the toughest division in the national league which includes the nationals who won the world series by the way I mean, there's the Mets, who had the Rookie of the Year. There's the Marlins, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have the Philadelphia Phillies, who probably top to bottom last season, from the beginning to end, probably had the deepest hitting rotation. But it, it never really clicked. But that's the division that Mike Soroka was in. And you still have to play in the, in, the, in the NL West against the Dodgers, who were surging. You have the Brewers in the Central. It's in a very packed National League, considering what he's done at 21 years old, should already... Like she should already tell you how good of a player he is, because I don't know if you understand, but if you can, if, if if a starting pitcher has a ERA of below three, meaning that they allow one run for every three innings, and most pitchers in their prime that are that 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 are eventually that, that are even considered to be all stars can't hit that number. Mike Soroka did that in his age twenty one season. I think that enough should 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 just should should be telling as to how good of a player he's going to be. He eventually became an all-star. He pitched an inning, and he didn't allow a run in the inning that he pitched. He was, he, he was sixth in Cy Young voting at 21 years old in the National League with Strasburg, with Max Scherzer, with Jacob deGrom, Walker Bueller, and all these other pitchers. At 
21 years old. He was sixth in Cy Young voting. And he was second in Rookie of the Year voting to Pete Alonzo, who no pitcher would have a chance, who no pitcher would have a chance against in their rookie season. Pete Alonzo would go on to hit 52 home runs. But Pete Alonzo was a 25-year-old rookie. Mike Soroka was a 21-year-old rookie who finished sixth in Cy Young and still had an ERA of like, he had a sub three ERA. But I won't go I, I won't go off on my tangents. But I think it's all it's it's fair to know who Mike Soroka is because he's not he's not very talkative. He doesn't have like a superstar's personality. But if you watch him play, you'll see how amazing of a player he is. He doesn't throw very fast. Um, all our commentators tend to say that he, he, they look back and they compare him to Greg Maddox when Greg Maddox was coming in. And of course, that, that could be seen as blasphemous because Greg Maddox is one of the greatest pitchers to ever play the game. But what I'm saying is I think Mike Soroka is most definitely on his way for showing what he's able to do at age 21. And considering he wasn't, impre- I guess he wasn't as impressive as Pete Alonso, I think it's fair to note that Pete Alonso was a 24, 25-year-old rookie. And, so, and this is Soroka in his age 21 season. So that's my point as to whether Soroka. So I think Soroka is definitely one of the best, but I think and it's and it's fair if MLB fans don't know him because if you're in Atlanta, you know who Soroka is, and if you're in the National League East, I hope you know who's. If, if your team's in the National League National League East, I hope you at least know who Soroka is. But at least I'm giving this. I'm just doing, I'm just giving the soundbite just to. Uh, just to just just to give you some insight as to how just to how good of a player he is and how amazing of a is how amazing of a player he he's gonna he's he's turning out to be he's projected to be, and I think once it's all said and done, knock on wood, if he stays uninjured, he's another player that you can watch become a Hall of Famer before your very eyes. He's another player in this quarantine that I will I will say, on every video, up until like they're up the, up until like they're old. It's always good to see a it's always good to see a player turn into the one of the best players in their sport. Um, Mike Soroka, seeing what he's done, of course he had a rocky first year, but even in his first year he had a three five ERA in the five games that he pitched at twenty years old. But he's another player that if you ever get a chance to watch him, um, he's the ace of the Atlanta Braves, a playoff team by the way, and. Uh, I think that once people understand how good he is and once the Braves are able to lock him up, I think he's going to be a, an Atlanta Braves legend. And, and Atlanta has its history of legendary pitchers with Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, John Smoltz, I mean, just other players. The fact that Mike Soroka is doing what he's doing now and, he's, and he was voted as the sixth best pitcher in the National League in a very strong National League I think it speaks to, I think it's, it's. I think it just speaks to just the MLB showing their respect for a young player who's doing what he's doing at a very very young age. I mean, there there are prospects, there are top prospects in baseball right now in the minors, that 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 were ranked higher than he was as a prospect, but they're but he was a all star. He was an all star as a starting pitcher in the major leagues at twenty one years old. So that's kind of my spiel. Um, really just going over, I think that Mike Soroka, amazing athlete, amazing pitcher, incredibly smart, knows how to use his pitches. And at the same time, with this Braves core, that's only going to get stronger because they, they were one of the, they were the only team or out of all the playoff teams, they had the best farm system and they had the best crop of young talent alongside maybe the Los Angeles Dodgers. So I think as, the, as, as this Braves team grows and gets a lot stronger and Mike Soroka settles in as the ace of the team, I think the sky's the limit with this Braves organization as long as you put him there. But at the same time, he has good defensive players around him because he doesn't throw a lot of strikeouts, but he's one of the best ground ball pitchers in all of baseball. So, of course, with infielders like Dansby Swanson, um, Ozzy Albies, Freddie at first, and depending on who they have at third, maybe Johan Camargo or Austin Riley, this... He has the team around him to help him be one of the best pitchers this I mean this game this this game has ever seen. Um, I think when it comes down to when we look back at who's or if we look at who's going to be the best pitcher in the two thousand twenties out of all these pitches, I think it's going to be from beginning to end. It'll probably be Mike Soroka. Um, I see Cy Youngs definitely in his future. I mean, if people can't hit off him, I think that still make that that still makes him 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 an amazing pitcher. 
And yeah, if you ever get a chance to watch the Braves, they play in the National League East with the Phillies, the Mets, the Marlins, and the Nationals. So yeah, if you get a chance, uh, just just to see a young player showing that he's among the league's best when his counterparts that are giving the that are putting up the same numbers are like in their thirties or in their late twenties, I still think that's very impressive. So I mean, he's in the category of incredibly young. He's too young to be this elite. So just to just to just to put his name out there, I have to show Mike Soroka some respect for what he's been doing at such a young age in the MLB. And because I am an Atlanta fan, I'm a, I'm a tad biased towards Mike Soroka, but I think if he was on any other team and put up any of those same numbers, I believe that I would still have him on this list and I'd still be doing the sound by saying the exact same thing except for, you know, if if like if they had the same core as the Atlanta Braves. So with that, I appreciate you for listening to all 11 minutes of this. I know it's kind of a hard time for everyone out here during this quarantine. You know, we'll all make it through. But I appreciate if you actually take the time to listen to this beginning to end. Because, I mean, for, for years to come, I will be talking about Mike Soroka. And I think he's one of the league's best. And if you're a baseball fan, I think, I, I think you'd really, really enjoy watching him and watching the Braves' defense around him. So with that, I'm going to sign off by saying peace.